What is happening people? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel and welcome to episode 3 of Pre-Season. We're currently at Bromley FC right now as they're ground sharing with Cray Wanderers, one of the oldest teams in London. Okay, they were founded in 1860, which is mental. And today marks another day in Hashtag history as we are debuting the Hummel gear. Okay, so this is obviously what the staff and the coaches are getting. We have this sort of lime green with navy blue uh, and the players will be getting blue and also today we'll be playing in the beautiful home kit with the QR code with the secret sponsor on the front. And lastly before we go and see some of the boys make sure you check the link down in the description head over to the hashtag United website and check out all the casual clothes and training gear that we've actually put on sale because they are so decent and I know that some of you guys have been in the comments and messaging me and plenty more people at hashtag trying to get your hands on some more training wear uh, some of the kits and some of the more casual clothes that we've just released so make sure you check that link and go pre-order it now. Really? What are we saying about these kits by the way? I tell you what, this is unbelievable. Humble has done such a good job. So good. Yeah. How about this QR code? Scan it now. Scan it now. Get your phone out and scan it. There you go. What you think? Take it to the page. Look at that. Play the video. That's how easy it is, by the way. Done. Decent. Yes, mate, I know Messi wants to play in the issue with right? But he's Can't show anymore, it's a secret. Oh, a hey, smudge. Smudge, what are you saying about this training gear, by the way? Oh, mate, it's nice. It's nice. Do you like it, yeah? Yeah, mate, it's sick. I just want to see the match day tracks. I just want to get a kit on and all. I want to see you get a kit on. Oh, look, what, what is that? You oh, look good, mate. <laughs> Jakey, boy, what are you saying about the garms? About what? The garms. The garms, what's the garms? You don't know what the garms means? Nah. <laughs> Someone ever what, what? You don't know what that means as well. You don't, you don't know what Garms means. Yeah. What? Wait, right, these two don't know what Garms means. Are you being serious? No, no, no. You lot make me feel sick. We've got keys in the uh, the new Garms. What are you saying? It's sick. Approve of it? Oh, massive. Bottoms are nice and tight. Okay. They are tight. Do you what we're saying about the pro pants? Yeah, they're, they're a bit, they're, they're a bit pro tight, aren't they? A bit tight. Makes my bum look amazing. <laughs> That's what do we know about Cray Wanderers? Uh, they're a good side, they're a league above us. They're a league above us. Uh, quite an established team. Is that Ishmael Prem? Ishmael Prem, that is. Prem, that is. Yeah. Um, they've been around for a few, good few years. Um, one of the oldest clubs. 1860? Yeah, one of the oldest clubs in, I think, history. The football history, club, I think. How, uh, that's, that's a long time for a football club to be established, kids. It is a very long time. Very long time. Good. They're, they're a good side as well. Good manager. Um, you seen any people, people that you know over there? Yeah, a couple, as always. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Kid's actually the non-league goat, isn't he? Really he knows goat, like, too he many knows people. Too he's, he's won like six trophies or something like that, seven, I don't know. Oh, don't it. gas him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was actually just a lofted ball from like halfway into the box. We was very, very deep. Um, our Raws missed it. Brad was nowhere near it, and they've literally just guided it into the bottom I think, I think Brad called for a foul as well. I'm not sure. I don't think it was a foul, to be honest with you. It was a good header, I flicked on, but um, Zippy said that it's always going to go in, so it's 1 0 to Craig.
Stephen, that was a good passenger play from the craze, wasn't it? That was. I mean, we are getting pulled about a little bit in defence, just talking to Mikey about it. Um, and yeah, from that range at that, that philosophy, I don't think Jacko's going to stop that. So the game ended 4-1. It was a tough test. Um, we definitely missed quite a few chances, but they're a tidy side. And what a ground from the FC is. Unbelievable. But yeah, see you in a few seconds. And we're back guys for game number two out of three in this episode. Today we are playing against White Enzyme. Now I know the last game didn't quite go to plan, but guys, you have to remember, we've got a squad of 30 plus players here. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of chops and changes. Uh, in games we're going to be experimenting different play styles, different tactics, formations, etc. So in this scenario, the result is not the thing to take away from this. But we are here for another game regardless, so it's time to go to work. Right, now you're probably wondering, Stamps, why are you holding the camera and not LP? But I'm here to explain. So LP is a little bit under the weather right now. I wish him all the best. I hope he gets well very soon. But I'm here to take over today. Lend a little bit of a helping hand. But I'm currently working on the esports side of things. Yeah, I've got the channel up and back up and running again. The esports channel. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to that. Because I've got loads of new content on the way. Especially at the start of FIFA 22, by the way. The content I'm planning to put out is going to be a madness. So make sure you don't miss out. Wow. What the hell is going on with the top of your head? <laughs> See England. Basically, they're dead. So the deal was England win it. You'll go blown. What, so when Phil Foden told his teammates, you thought, yeah, I'm going to jump on that? Yeah, I'm going to jump on that. I'm going to join England because we're going to win it. It's coming home. Then as I started getting gassed and gassed more, thinking it's going to actually come home, I was like, I'll do it. Did it. They lost. <laughs> so we have actually played Enzyme before. We played them in our first season. Um, we've obviously currently gone up two steps uh, since then. And last season, they got promoted from the Thurlow Nun League, so they now play in the Essex Senior. They're also celebrating their 70th anniversary today, so what a great occasion. Uh, the sun is out, it's shining. Uh, the pitch looks nice and lovely, as you can see. And uh, we're just ready for a great day of football. Also, guys, I've seen already, I caught up with him in the car park a little bit, Lewis Hawes, I don't know if you guys will remember him, he used to play for us back in the day, a goalkeeper. He actually plays for White Enzyme currently, so we're gonna have a little catch up with him. Talk to me through like your season. What, so you were quite a big part of last year's promotion for your uh, team, yeah. right? Yeah, so similar situation to you, but obviously a step lower. So uh, yeah, we'll be going into the, the senior league next year through points per game again. We was top of the furlough none on um, points per game. So yeah, we'll be going up to the senior league next year, which is good. Right, so we're about to kick off now, yeah? Before you go out, Lee, I've got a question for you. Perfect. Have you solved the QR code yet? Do you know what? I actually ain't. Uh, from the first video Spencer put out, something to do with Messi, and him coming over it for 30 quid a week or something like that. That's all I really took from it. But that's all I got. Right, before we go into the game, guys, and you guys see the highlights, just one more thing I want to address. Please get off us in the comment section, yeah? There is no point in doing a squad update video in the middle of pre-season. It makes absolutely no sense. Pre-season is the time for experiment and like, experimentation and to try players in different positions, see who's going to be playing for us, who's going to be starting, whatever. Wait till the end of pre-season and I promise you guys the video will come out. Look last year, we did the same thing there. And I know what you're going to say as well. I can see you already typing in the comment section. Joshua Sude has left us. We will address that in the video as well. All will be revealed before the start of our season. So please, just chill out, yeah? Take it easy. Updates coming soon. Give an opportunity. That's right. Hey, <laughs> right, that's how you start the game. Right guys, I don't do this too often. I'm gonna get a little bit serious very quickly, just to let you guys know. One of the White Enzyme youth players, he's only 15 years old, his name is Jude. Unfortunately, lost very recently the function in both of his legs and his hands. 
Um, as you can imagine, it's a very devastating time for him and his family. So what we've done, guys, is down in the description below, there's a donation link where you can give, whether it's a big amount, a small amount, whatever you can, um, just to help and support his family through this tough time. So if you do donate, thank you very much, and I'm sure his family will appreciate it. A rundown of what happened. So the ball's been set and he's just gone for it. It's going stanch top left and heads are just heads. Wow. So what's just happened, Lee? So basically, yeah, uh, Liam Mulligan has actually scored a banger into the stanchies. Literally, I'd say from kickoff, they've gone up there up to our end, and they've managed to score straight away. So two goals in about a minute, I'd say one-one. How they didn't put that in the back of the net is beyond me. I think he missed the header from about three yards. But we're looking a bit shaky right now, I'm not going to lie. What happened? Uh, Jake's done well down the right. Uh, absolutely turned the geezer inside out. Geezer had to power five to get back in. <laughs> Won a foul. Good ball from Glady's hit the crossbar, and there's uh, Ryan tapping in the back post. Centre back. Centre back scoring goals now. I know. Finally got one. Right, so that is the end of game number two. Um, we started off a little bit slow, but I love the intensity. Once we made a few changes in that, I think we had a little bit of a change in tactics and whatnot, but we definitely started taking the game to them a little bit more. Uh, a lot more chances going our way. Uh, but yeah, on to the next one, I guess. And I'm gonna be at that game also. You guys have got me for another game. So over to you, Stamps. I'll see you guys in 48 hours, but in real time, it's gonna be about two seconds. Bang! It's two days later, I'm now here at Bowers and today we are playing Redbridge. Uh, there's no devs today, he's not around, so Joe is going to be taking the team. But as you guys know, it's not about the result today. We have played Redbridge before, last season, so they're, you know, familiar opponents. But today is just all about, again, getting in the minutes. What are we saying? You right, devs? You good? I mean, you, um, look, you look like him, so you two could be brothers. Well, do you know what? 
I'm already moaning like him. It's been 12 hours to that and I'm already moaning like him, so. Why, why are you moaning? I just have to deal with all the stuff that he normally deals with that makes him angry. Now I know why he's so angry all the time. What were we saying about today? Obviously you're taking the team and stuff. Are you are you actually allowed to pick your own lineup or is this all um, that Dev's doing? No, we, we, we spoke about it yesterday and We've we've come to the, like we've we've named the lineup and then the subs on the night will be down to me obviously um, and then yeah it, but I think it will be based on we haven't got no set subs other than newbie who's only available for the last ten minutes maybe a little bit more um, other than that it'll be sort of performance related and who's looking sharp and who's not. Span dog looking fresh. Talk me through today's fit. Just come straight from Glastonbury. Uh, this is just some of the many brand new leisure wear options we have at Hashtag United on the website hashtagunitedstore.com uh, Today I've gone with the white pyramid t-shirt we call this design. It's on a number of different items but this one's on the front in the blue and yellow classic hashtag colours. Also got the up the tag detailing on the back there. Decent. You know what I like it. about that as well? Yeah, you've please. got the little uh, tag thing going oh, on you've got here. loads of stuff official. in it, mate. You've got the official hashtag United, a little oh, kind of mark there. You've got this on the sleeve here. Oh, you know, didn't see that. There's other stuff on the inside as well, honestly. Uh, I'm also wearing the shoulder bag, of course. I actually didn't think. Wait, like the what bag? It's this beautiful up the tag shoulder bag, my friend. Also got the same ah. uh, detailing there. And also tags. That is definitely my favourite bit. That is sick. All the way around All as the well. way around, mate. All the way around. And then, of course, maybe many people's favourite item this year. The main the attraction. Yep. Uh, the reversible bucket hat, might I add. This is the sort of more funky version. You know, you want to go out there and impress. You wear this one. Loads of design all around it. But then if you, need, if you have a more sort of upmarket formal affair, like a wedding or a funeral, then maybe you just pop this bad boy on and you blend in with the most sophisticated of gentlemen and lady folk. <laughs> if that worked, I would have gone mental. Not great. It's now 3 0. Don't know what's going on, to be honest. Just, I think tensions are getting a bit high out there. We're just not, we're not really playing.
been a tough game all around. Um, I think we've made it real hard work and we've not been at the races for much of the game and like the last half an hour seem to have turned it up but it's not it's not the kind of way we want to play and now and now it's become a little bit of a battle to try and make it 3-3 to salvage the game. Right guys, so that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a mad game. And also guys, to remind you, you can actually watch these games live on YouTube. You do have to be a member, so make sure you sign up because at the start of the season, we are going to be streaming all of our home games, but they are going to be for members only. But yeah, great end to the game. It did start off very slow. It seems to be a common theme with these preseason games. Obviously, we're adjusting to a new formation. Uh, I do like the subs we're bringing on and the, the pace is just bringing in. Jake Lindsay, again, I have to say, the two games I've seen him play, he has come on and he has made an impact. So it's always good to see. But yeah, it's back to the grind now. Uh, we've got Basingstoke on Saturday. That's not going to be in this video. This is the end of this video. But guys, make sure you're keeping up to date with all of the preseason videos going on. Um, there is a playlist. Make sure you check that out. If you enjoyed this content as well, subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to stay up to date when we upload. I've been your boy Stamps. It's good to be back. I might not be back for a while, I don't know. But in the meantime, guys, take care of yourself and don't forget to hashtag it.